Hello, Grandmas. Welcome to A Little Worldwide, episode number 17. And uh, now we'll give you an update to who will be leaving Universitario and who will be joining the team for next season. Well, we do have some cuts. We have um, just yesterday was Ivan Santillan, who was the one defensive uh, backs. I think he was the left back, I believe, uh, and center back. And he has been cut. And the recent cut today is Hernan Novik. Remember, as I spoke last week, that even though he has been playing pretty bad this whole season, but he has one year left of his contract. But now it's official that the U will not even want to exercise his last contract, his last year of his contract. And they have decided to uh, cut ties with him despite having one year left of his contract since he is not in Carlos Cogbanucci's plans. So uh, that is the news about the the players that, that that are departing the team. Now the players who are staying with the team. Right now we have uh, Jose Carvalho, Alexander Sukar. And they have been announced that they got to stay with the team. And uh, Sukar, well, despite he has he has grown a bit more, like I said last week. It, um, he should just stay as, in my opinion, as like one of the backup forwards. And uh, now the players that have signed with the U, the first name that come that that just came yesterday was the uh, player from Milgar. Uh, I believe he is the nationality. To be honest, I'm not sure if he's proven Argentinian. I think he's Argentinian. Yeah, is um, Martin Perez Guedes. Coming from uh, Melgar. Yes, he's Argentinian. Just got that confirmed. And um, he was one of the key players for Melgar, which is a good pickup since he's been uh, consistently helping the team and also the key figure in a deep, so many kind of run. And uh, so his his signing's been official. He was presented and and, uh, shown on social media yesterday. No, two days ago. My bad. Yesterday, the U didn't even sign anybody uh, to the teams. And the next signing is um, just today they announced uh, from from Manucci, uh, Jose Dani Rivera. I think he's also like a winger midfielder. So that's another good pickup we have did. His, his stats is also pretty decent. Um, and also we have players that are on the radar, which w- when you're on the radar, that means that these players are in contact with the team. And it's also... Uh, um, that the team is going after them. So first name that comes first is Brian Reyna. He was in, in a un, like uh, in a f- somewhat of an agreement with Alianza Lima, but now I think those talks has been um over with, and now he wants to come to Universitario. And um, despite that, th- the story about him is that he is happy to go with Universitario but the what makes it hard is, is that Cantolao, the team that he plays for, will only take the highest uh bid offer. So that's the uh that's the scenario for, for Brian Reyna. He I think he's also like a winger attacker or forward. I'm not familiar about him, but uh his stats shows uh otherwise that he's a really good player. And um another player that has been uh that's also been on the radar. It's also a um, player from the from the Colombian League. Let me just get his name out real quick. But also about Brian Reyna is that he's also now a um, national team regular now. And uh, he, so he's been called up for the first time for these uh, friendlies from Peru against Paraguay. So those are uh, really good uh good uh statistics that he's showing he earned his uh national team uh call up and the other player that that's on the radar that i was going to tell you his name is rodrigo urena coming from the colombian league deportes tolima and he's chilean so we are coming in here to this off season with four open spots now one is filled with the uh signing from uh from Guedes. And now Urania might be filling the second spot, uh, the f- second foreign spot, because uh, we have cut um, four players. We have cut uh, Quintero, Chiquitin Quintero, Alonso, and Novik. 
Um, Uruti, he's not cut, but at the same time, he's getting his Peruvian national, nationalization. So that means that, that was, that's another open spot. It's not official, but they're saying that it's likely going to happen by the end of the year. And the fifth spot is Claudio Jacob, who is actually going to be released, as according to some sources. Nothing's official about that yet, but um, that one I do say that the team should cut because this guy had had contributed to absolutely nothing ever since he arrived at the team for the Clausura. And so that's about it. Those are my uh, weekly news about the signings and, and um, cuts we have done so that's what i'll be doing for like the next few weeks maybe the next month or so uh about the uh about the ooze plans for 2023 the ooze going all in for 2023 making some big signings here and uh and then the goal is to finally end our drown winner and win a championship for the 27th time and um, I'll be back here for next week for more updates. So the updates is that for cuts, it's Santillan and Novik. And for re-signings, it's Sukar, Carvalho. And um, I, I probably forgot other names, but I'll, I'll discuss it next week. And also for new pickups, it's uh, per- Perez Guedes and Ur- and um, and uh, Rivera. And also possible signings with Urania and... And uh, Reina. So those are possible. So um, hopefully next week we got updates on those. And we probably will have new names popping out for new signings. So I'll be back here next week for a new update. And thank you for tuning in for Lola Worldwide. The official podcast of Kremlin Tribune. And I will see you next week. Idala U.